So uh, I think it's weird and ironic that the, uh, the word daiquiri has a queer right in the middle of it. <laughs> Some observational stuff for today. Uh, anybody in, uh, in relationships, dating, anything like that? <laughs> All right, solid. You're the only guy that I've heard be excited about it, and that's what I like about you. I like your honesty. Because most times, it, girls go nuts when you ask if anybody's dating. Because ah! it's a win-win. Guys don't get that money back. We don't even get a settlement in the dating game. We don't. Nobody brings us a check or a stimulus package or anything like that. I am in a long-distance relationship. That's what I'm in. So it means a few things. Um, one, I'm a professional masturbator. I could compete with any 14-year-old that just found the internet. I could, I could compete with those guys. Two, my apartment would make a hoarder puke. Three, my definition of uh, organizing your life consists of two receptacles in my house, one labeled do not wear, the other labeled cleanish. That's my ideas of organizing your life. That's what it's like when you're single, okay? I had a, I had a, I had a, uh, I live alone, okay? And I had a moment today where I was like, thank, after it all passed, after the hurricane passed, I was like, thank God I live alone. Seriously, thank Christ. Because I was, I was, um, I had this realization today, and I was like, wow, I forgot to buy toilet paper. But I had that realization on the toilet. <laughs> all, you know, it's all wrapped up. Job's done. And I'm literally sitting there. Everything's fine. Everything's good. And I just go, fuck. <laughs> Shit. Because as, this is a moment where, as a grown man, as a 27-year-old man, I have to evaluate, I like questioned my character while I was sitting there. I was like, what do I do? It's one of those situations like, there's no easy fix for that ever in your life. You never, you never go, oh, I'll just, and then anything come after that. You go, am I going to walk across the house like this? Am I going to use a shirt that I hate that I keep making excuses not give to Goodwill? What do, what do, what do you do in that situation? So it's like, I, 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 I was just like, I fixed it. It was good. I duck walked to the kitchen. It was all taken care of. But I was just like, wow, I would rather my mom know about anything that's happened to me in my life than that situation that I just dealt with right there, for sure. For sure. Hard, you try being there. That's a, hard, that's a hard situation to deal with. You don't just go, oh, this is all right. I'll get through it. This is panic. Panic in your mind. You can't move from that position. You're stuck there. You you just like you you make it you make it a thing. You're just like if I was stuck here forever, what would I do? How long could I be stuck here? And what would happen if I was stuck here forever? I got a uh, I got a Shih Tzu, which is a weird thing to say around your friend Sue. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> 